Hey, welcome back. On um, this video, my intention was to put out some something different. Uh, I have a lot of lucid dream videos on here, so I kind of wanted to give some some pointers that were not the same as the ones in my other videos. So here is seven unusual lucid dreaming tips. And number one is to avoid excessive supplements. Now, I mean, herbal is good, and I'm not saying it's not, but, um, you know, if you take something every single day, it's my belief and from my observation, you know, like if you take an herbal supplement, it might be increasing the production of certain neurochemicals. But if you overdo it, you might trigger what's called down regulation and the receptor sites and things start working less efficiently or don't work as good on their own. So it's okay to kind of push the boundary every now and then but if you do it too often it seems from my experience that it just is more detrimental than helpful so moderation makes any kind of substance work better and I think people who, who use cannabis can tell you that firsthand that less is more you actually get more inebriated by using less and the second is uh, in terms of synthetic I just completely don't recommend it at all like maybe it to dabble here and there uh, and this is based off of experience because, um, and I'm not I'm not a synthetic person, but every now and then I might try something like a synthetic nootropic or something, but I find that herbal is definitely the way to go. But I use this stuff called Phenobut in melatonin to reset. I was sitting up later than I wanted to, and I wanted to get my sleeping schedule back. And so I noticed that when I got back to a regular sleeping schedule, that is, you know, going to bed at a reasonable time and waking up in the morning and not sleeping till noon. I remembered way more dreams and I even got lucid. So, but I used this stuff called Phenobut and Melatonin to kind of reset myself to knock me out and put me to sleep and help me get my schedule back on track. And it worked for sleep. But the three nights that I took it, I didn't remember anything. I didn't remember any dreams at all. And then the next day when I quit... I had a lucid dream, and I wrote down like five different dreams throughout the night. So, you know, and I think talk to other people and try from your own experience that you'll notice that sometimes, you know, if you're taking something synthetic every night, some kind of synthetic onerogen, it's probably going to be detrimental. I mean, maybe once it might be worth a dabble, but if you keep taking it, don't don't expect any results. And pay attention and notice that once you quit you'll probably hit what's called REM rebound, which is my next unusual tip. And I'm not, you know, I don't really know if I'm going to call this a tip, but it's just something to consider. REM rebound is basically if you don't get enough sleep one night or two nights or three nights, when you finally do get enough sleep, you're going to remember way more dreams. And that's what's called REM rebound. Getting up an hour or two early one day, leaving you with five to six hours of sleep. The next day, if you get eight or more, that can induce what's known as REM rebound. Or if you sit up all night and you don't get enough sleep one night, the next night you can expect and be certain you'll have even more dreams to recall the next morning. And the next is walk or exercise. So being outdoor in general increases vitamin D production in the human body. And what's not commonly taught to people is it, is that vitamin D is actually good for your brain. So it's my belief that vitamin D alone can help improve your dream life and your neurological circuitry in general. So walking is good for your brain naturally. So, you know, I think that getting exercise should enhance your dreams. And from my experience, I tend to recall far more dreams on days that I walk more. It also does wonders for your consciousness. In fact, there are certain meditation techniques that you can practice while walking. A lot of people report that walking clears their mind or makes them you know, generally feel better. So try to focus on the na nature sounds surrounding you. Try to focus on the nature surrounding you during the walk. Absorb the pristine organic colors around you, the blue sky, the white clouds, the green trees and grass, the sounds of bird chirp birds chirping, etc. By focusing on the natural beauty around you, it can be a natural form of meditation and that can open up your awareness. Not to mention the pristine colors around you affect you because colors have psychological influences on them and there's no, you know, what better place to absorb lots of pristine colors than the outdoors. And you have the best ones. So 
Uh, here's another one. Write a, the letter C on your hands, both your hands, for consciousness. And, you know, you're gonna, you'll see them throughout the day. And that's kind of like a reminder, and it just does it subconsciously. You don't even really have to try. You'll, you'll notice it, and as soon as you see it, you'll know what it's for and what it means. And that can, that can help you because, you know, it just, it's like a reminder every time you see it. And there's other things you can do like that. <clears throat> In fact, a lot of people use objects, like anything, yeah, just any kind of object that you can associate lucidity and lucid dreaming with. And when you see it, you kind of just stop, pause, look around, become aware of your surroundings, try to find anything unusual, and just make, and it helps to create that habit. Now, the next one, this is for cannabis consumers. Um, moderation and avoid smoking at night. Now, you don't have to avoid smoking every night, but, you know, less is more, and it takes less to get more out of it. And just not that anything detrimental is going on to your brain. It's not, you know, it's just that a tired brain is a brain that will likely spend more energy on things other than creating these majestic projections for your enjoyment or education that we call dreams. So try not to overdo it because in in essence, you're pushing your mind to the limit, thus tiring it out more. And, and this is just my belief. The next is don't get discouraged. You don't have to try every night to have a lucid dream. So just because you try and you don't succeed, doesn't, don't, don't lose interest. That's the main thing. Don't lose interest in it. If you really want to do it, try to keep your interest there. A lot of my lucid dreams happen when I don't even expect it to happen. In fact, my lucid dreams nowadays seem to happen spontaneously. Granted, if you're new, to, to, if you're new you'll need to practice induction methods, but I think you'll find in time it just sort of happens. My last lucid dream last night was another spontaneous lucid dream. There was no special cue that I can tell that tipped me off. I didn't look at my hand or try to flip a light switch on or off or anything like that. I just saw this bed, knew it wasn't mine, and became lucid. I said to myself, this is a dream. But it didn't even seem to be the bed that wasn't mine that tipped me off. I just felt aware and somehow knew I was dreaming. And that was probably from you know trying to make the habit of just considering it and pausing and becoming aware throughout the day and that's the main thing you need to do so the next one is to make a habit of simply considering lucidity every day of your life and i think i kind of already went over this but we'll count it anyway so yeah make the habit of habitually thinking about lucid dreaming every single day now, this can really help to bring on spontaneous lucid dreams. Even if you wake up and don't remember your dreams, if you're thinking about lucid dreams every single day, then you're on the right track. If you don't remember your dreams and you're having a problem with that, check out my video on how to remember your dreams every morning, and I, I really think it'll help you. And I'll go ahead and just go over one quick thing from that in here, and that is um, if you're not remembering your dreams every morning, when you wake up in the morning, stop as soon as you remember this advice and think to yourself, wait a minute, I was just asleep. That means I was just dreaming. What was I doing? And try to remember. And it might not work the first time, but just keep doing that every day. And eventually you'll get to the point where when you wake up, you're thinking about your dreams. And that's the goal. So practice the techniques and you'll be there in no time. You have to train your mind in the morning to immediately ponder your dreams and not drift off into uncontrolled, spontaneous thoughts. So that's all for this video. I hope you found this helpful. If you do, please give me a subscription to help me out so you can be, and also so you can be notified for when I release new videos. And until next time, I'm Scott from Everything Awesome. Peace out. And I'll go ahead and throw some other links up here to some other cool related videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.